Uh, this is something I've always wanted to ask, and I know it feels kind of ridiculous, but um, I don't know. I'm going to anyway. It's not ridiculous. And the truth shall set you free. I love that. Um, and I often wonder, you know, it's easy for me sitting here in my nice house with my full belly and the comfort of peace around me. And But if I was like in Ukraine or the Gaza Strip or if I was facing some horrible... Why do you projecting? You've. We, I think we've had this conversation before. <laughs> it's probably it's okay. me again. It's not ridiculous, by the way. But why are you projecting something that's false, that's not true? What has that problem or that concern? That means you're just you're not attending to truth. You're 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 falling for the mind telling you a story and making a problem. Yeah, it's like almost survivor guilt or something. Oh, uh, like, yeah, I understand. It's easy of course. For me, you know, it's easy for me to know the truth. And, you know, I but if I was I just wonder, like, if I was in the middle of the front lines of a war. Yeah, But again, I'm going to stop you now because I want because <laughs> I love you and we're friends for a long time now. We work together. Stop. Yeah. Stop. You see what's going on. That thought the survivor guilt is that your thought is that your original thought did you create that no uh, by the, no. are you jewish by any chance no i'm catholic i oh, was catholic, just the same so right, you have right. to feel guilty it's your yeah. you have no choice <laughs> exactly it's even worse if you're jewish but almost as bad if you're catholic <laughs> you must feel guilty that's it man there's yeah. no alternative yeah. so is yep. that something you created yourself no, no. Okay, so then what is it exactly? It's just the conditioned mind coming in. And then you're saying, what if I, you, you're you're claiming yourself to be that. I feel guilty. No, the culture is speaking that way. And you're now making the mistake, original sin, now that you're a good Catholic, original sin is saying, I am that guilt. That's a mm -hmm. sin. That's the sin right there. That's the original sin. Mm -hmm. When you know, but you know, because we know each other, that's not you. That's yeah. culture. It's religious ignorance saying that. So you have to, uh, that's what devotion to truth means. Mm -hmm. In this moment, what are you going to be devoted to? Truth or the ignorance that's been abused into your poor, innocent mind? Which are you going to be devoted to? That's what I said earlier, viveka, discrimination. Are you mm -hmm. going to be devoted to truth, which is now? Or are you going to be de devoted to ignorance, which is all of that conditioning? Have a viveka, mm -hmm. the discrimination, to see the difference. That devotion to creating a story of something that I can't possibly know is yeah. insane. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And it's not even you creating the story, by the way, as right. you know as well, because we've worked together. Mm -hmm. That story is just appearing in your mind, you know. News tells you this, and it's, that we see on TV. The their intention is to make you feel fear. That's all. That's that's the only purpose of that. That's the only one purpose to make you feel fear. So if you watch that stuff, of course, and also with your Catholic conditioning, fear and guilt, fear and guilt. Oh my God, you're screwed. So Viveka, see that ignorance. And see truth and be devoted to love. Love is now. Peace is now. Your own peace is much more valuable for yourself and everyone around you and the world than you're solving any problems that you project and that are projected in your mind. You know, your peace solves everything. Yes, yes, yes. Well, I needed that shot, that injection. Thank you. That was awesome. I've known you for a while, so I felt it you know, free to, you know, yeah, to no, I mean, you say it's so true. And, and just for you to say it then and blast me with it again is just very helpful. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're great, Pam. We've known each other quite a while, but you've had that same question or similar. <laughs> I yeah. think I have. I haven't asked it for a while. You know, I what, think your when I you know what your problem is, is that you care, you know, that's your problem. You're, you have empathy and compassion. You know, you got to get got to get rid of all of that stuff. <laughs> I'm yeah. But what you're That's saying is, if, with the empathy, empathy and compassion, you're right. Though that if I um, know my own peace, know who I truly am, radiate that. That's the best way to be compassionate and and uh, be of yeah. service. That's you know? what I think. Yeah. Get, 
wrapped up in my these stories and the fear of what if and the, you know that's that just totally brings darkness you know that's it's great not, what know. what good does it do you or anyone around you exactly. Nothing, of course exactly. it's horrible but yeah. what good does your light do you and everyone else around you you can and change the world that's how you change the world you know and not in the hyperbolic sense of i'm going to solve the ukraine and, and israel problem right, right, but you change right. the world by your light you know yes yes and that's the devotion that you speak of that's absolutely the devotion. devotion is the biggest is. thing in the world i love that yeah thank you Thanks. so keep this so on see just so next time that happens which it will happen again just viveka discrimination see what see that that see that that's just a movement that's not yeah. self-created not self-generated it's just culture totally. just see it as culture just say i see you culture i see you catholic religion and no I'm going to be, yeah. I'm going to be love itself now, you know. Beautiful. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. That's great, Pam. Nice to see you.